on guys Jesse Mails here we're backwater fly fishing hopefully you all checked out the last video we did where we used the easy crab shells from Sightcast fishing to tie a super super cool crab fly and today we're gonna use another one of their products which is the marsh legs these legs are by far the coolest looking legs for fly tying that I could find anywhere and this particular fly that is the main ingredient um, it's a redfish fly, it's a bonefish fly, it's a triggerfish fly. Um, it's a super, super cool little bug. And we're gonna whip it up today. It's super simple, but it just finishes off looking so cool. And I'm gonna test this out in Belize. I got a good feeling about it, um, but I'm gonna show it to you guys ahead of time. And um, hopefully maybe you guys can check it out before I go to Belize in May and give me some feedback on what you guys think. So let's whip this thing up. All right, guys, this fly is tied on a number four Daiichi 2546. And we're just gonna lay a pretty solid thread base down onto this hook. Um, I really like this hook a lot, um, just as a general saltwater hook. And I use it in this number four all the time. Um, hasn't failed me except for trigger fish, obviously, but that will get anybody. And this is gonna be tied sort of like a squint pattern so this high is going to be way back here it's not going to be up on the front of the fly so we're going to secure this sort of almost where that hook starts to bend once you have that secured bring your thread all the way to the back all right now we're going to take two of these legs and fold them over so that we have the orange sort of matching there so we can change from the orange to the brown and we're going to tie them in right like this with all four of those legs kicking backwards to where the tips will then be orange. And we're just going to roll that over and trim it a little long, kind of like that. Then cut this off, cover that up. Now we're going to tie in some crystal hackle in a brown color and we're going to actually Palmer this all the way up to the eye of the hook. So around these eyes and all the way to the front. There you go, once that reaches the top, just make a few wraps and then we can trim it off. So already seeing this fly looks super shrimpy and we're going to add some more legs and some flash up on the front. We're going to take two more legs like this. Again, paying attention to where the color change is. And we're going to attach two to this side. And we'll trim them a little bit past the hook there. And then we'll leave some up on the front just like that. Just like you would do with a, a typical squimp kind of pattern. And we'll do the same on the other side. Like that. Trim that off. So right here, we got two strands of flash. We're gonna fold it over and then we're gonna wrap it around like this. So that creates eight strands of flash going backwards. And we're gonna tie that right on the top. And the key is not to leave this really long. We wanna trim it short. And then you can whip finish right in the same spot here. Just like that. And then we'll cover that with some UV gel, just like this. And you can see that's super easy to tie. Very few materials, but the way these legs look and the way that body is sort of hollow is really gonna be a good shrimp pattern, I think, for bonefish. Especially if you have that kind of darker bottom, this color pattern here would work great. All right, guys, there you go. Super cool little fly. Thanks for checking it out. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think about that. Also, if you like this channel, make sure to subscribe. Check us out on Patreon at Patreon slash Backwater Fly Fishing. And uh, that's just a great way to gain access to content that's not here on YouTube. And it also helps us create content and keep this channel running. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Till next time, deuces.